Hey, I'm Todd. Thanks for choosing to watch my video. And if you would subscribe it, like it, all that stuff, you know, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, enjoy the video, and I hope it uh, gives you the information you need and is helpful to you. Take care. 2010 Ford F-150 rear doing the front brakes, front brake rotor, front brake pads, front brake caliper. Twenty one millimeter left to loosen, right to tighten. Go ahead and turn the steering wheel a little bit to the left or to the right to make it easier to work on the caliper. The Thirteen millimeter bolts for the caliper mounting. Twenty one millimeter for the caliper mounting bracket. Probably want to use a half inch breaker bar for the twenty one millimeter bolt. Maybe you got three eighths ratchet you can use for this as well. Just like to use a screwdriver to get in here and uh, free up some space, make this come off easier. If I can, I like to collapse the pistons in here and then I can check the caliper slides as well. Even though we're replacing the calipers on this job, you can, you can still check them if you're just doing brakes. Sliding pretty good. And take a uh, channel locks or a large C-clamp and collapse the piston all the way. Also, they make special tools for collapsing pistons. You can just collapse it till it bottoms out and is flush. There's a Loctite on these, making it tougher to get off. You can clean and replace these clips. They just pop out, friction fit. Just clean them up with some uh, little light sandpaper. Brake cleaning a rag, clean them up best you can if you don't get new ones with your brake pads. Slides are good. You can still put some caliper lube on here if you want to and put it back in both sides. 
the rotor uh, should slide off if everything was perfect but it's not so you can take a hammer to it and pound it on the back side and knock it loose use a little rust pen use some spray penetrant or something to help free it as well it's also a couple bolt holes here you can probably screw in probably a 10 by 1.25 bolt drive them both in it'll force the rotor off get your rotor machined or replace it for the best brake job you can do Ooh. These are not actually staying down, but once we put the brake pad in there, it probably will hold it down. I'm going to mount that on the steering knuckle. So you got your new or machined? Got our bolts on here. Do have some uh, Loctite on there because there was Loctite on before, but probably don't have to if you don't have any. But if you want to get some, you can. Just a little bit. We're 184 foot pounds for the back bolts. Then you've lubricated, or if you're doing the new caliper, then you got your slides, which are free. Good. Mount your caliper. Make sure the bleeder screw is on the top, not on the bottom. Twenty two foot pounds for these bolts. Uh, 
And then if you just replace your brakes, that would be it. We're doing the calipers. We're going to, of course, transfer the hose over. And then we'll be, uh, and you need to, if you're done, check the brake fluid level in the master cylinder. Got two new washers and a new uh, bolt for the caliper. I'm using a 14 millimeter here, seems to fit good. We'll take this off and then uh, put the new banjo bolt in. Get rid of the old washers. We'll put our new bolt in with our washers. And we'll torque this down uh, about 30 foot pounds, I believe, is what it says. So we'll tighten that down, and then we'll be ready for bleeding out of the bleeder. Right there, a nice little cap, probably a 10 millimeter, I'm guessing, for that. We'll tighten that down. I'm using the 3 8 but really don't get stuck on bolt sizes because they can change. Uh, the one you replace calipers, they can use different size bolts. And uh, if they do something with the uh, bleeders, they can change the size of the bleeders too. So it's nice to know, but don't get hung up on it. The procedure is the same whether it's a 10 millimeter, 11 millimeter, 12 millimeter. So we got this opened up and we'll hopefully let some fluid uh, gravity bleed out. So these holes are 10 by 1.5 is the thread pitch, 10 by 1.5 maybe, 25 or 30 millimeter bolt length would be long enough to pull it off. So here's the master cylinder, here's the cap, just kind of twists off and goes on, nothing too fancy, got a minimum and a maximum on there, maybe hard to see on the camera, it's just above the minimum right now. Want to pump the brakes a few times. If you're just doing brakes, if you're doing the calipers like we did, then we're going to just fill it up because we're going to need to bleed it. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up almost to the tip top. 
and we'll uh, we'll get the bleeders open with our 3 8 wrench so we're just gonna wait a little while and pretty soon hopefully you know a minute or so we'll see some fluid running out and then once the fluid starts running out we can uh, close up the bleeders on both sides because they have both sides open on the front we can close them and then we'll uh, pump the brakes a few times to set the calipers and pads and everything and then we'll uh, do a little more bleeding with an assistant.